Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how you get the S-Rank in hard mode. I'm going to get solid ground zero. So here we go, let's get started. Yeah, I've been a huge fan of the Metal Gear Solid series since... Well, Metal Gear Solid came out. <laughs> I think the first one came out like 98. Yeah, Shadow Moses incident, but... Yeah, it's been alright so far. I can't wait till the Phantom Pain come out. Alright, let's skip the cutscenes. And let's get started. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Before you go any further, use your binoculars. Sneak on through. I move full speed once the light is fully away from me. And I'll find the necessary take that guy out at the tower. So put him to sleep. One, two, three. And keep it moving. Throughout this video, I'm going to show you that there's not many enemies you really have to encounter. All you have to do is, you know, really get right by them. You don't have to fight everybody. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for this damn truck to pass by, or this jeep, actually. Uh, have to stand still, don't even move one inch. This is hard mode, so these super soldiers have some high-tech hearing and seeing. They'll see you clear as day at night with their eagle eye vision. Some super soldiers or something. Anyway, once the light is away from me, you're good. Just keep on moving. Just keep crawling, actually. And there we go. Get down, cause of course somebody see you a little. I expected that though. Every time I come this way, there's always somebody that gets suspicious. But he ain't no threat. I ain't worrying about him. I like to take out this guy that comes, he's coming up. Take him out immediately. A little CQC. Carry his body. You should move the bodies of enemies somewhere out of sight. And there we go. I find it necessary to put him to sleep anyway. Just a headshot. Because he will wake up within like two minutes. Like literally. And he call he'll get suspicious and come down here, he kinda messes up my flaw. So that's why I find it necessary to keep them knock him out, you know, put him to sleep. So he at least stay down for the whole game. Cause he eventually comes back to this camp. If I don't do that. Anyway, wait for this guy to ease on by. Before I climb up top. This is how I get into the camp. Sneak up behind him. Oh. Another CQC. Hmm. Just show him in the face. Now, I recommend crawling at this point because there's one, one guard outside the gate and he will see you. If you're not too cautious. So believe me, whatever I'm doing, I have a reason for it. <laughs> I'm gonna distract him, just make a noise, so he'll open the gate and come on through. Let me try and catch his attention. Just stand still. Once he get through the gate, got my tranquilizer gun, just put him to sleep, give him a headshot. Yep. And let's rescue our friend Chico here. We're gonna skip the cutscene. 
You know, playing the Metal Gear Solid series is like watching a movie, man. Too many cutscenes, but that's the one of the most enjoyable things about the series, though. I mean, I enjoy watching video game movies. As long as it makes sense, it ain't too crazy. Anyway, I find it necessary to put these two guys to sleep. Headshot. And one guy right behind him. Let me call the chopper. There we go. The second guy is gonna come right up behind him. Two shots would do it. You don't even have to waste three. Three shots will make him drop instantly, but two shots give him about five seconds. He'll drop down. And everybody's asleep now. This time I'm not rescuing all the hostages like I did in my previous video in normal mode. And it just took up more time. I don't feel like doing all that. That's one way to get the S rank. When you rescue all the hostages. If you wanna learn how to do that, get extra credit or whatever. You ain't gonna win shit, but if that's just something you wanna do, you can watch me in normal mode. I uploaded that video like months ago, but anyway. Just try to speed through this one. You get an S rank in hard mode as long as you don't get, you know, you don't have to use your reflective sight. And you never alert the enemies, you'll be alright. Don't think too much about rushing through it. Let's get this. Man, too many snakes in this series, man. Solid snake, naked snake, liquid snake, solid the snake. You wonder, the Phantom Pain is gonna come out with a new snake? Oh, come to find out, there was like an extra clone of Big Boss or something somewhere. Who knows, man? I'm like surprised Keith Sullivan is the new Big Boss actor. I was like, wow. Not to say I have anything against him, but I like David Hayter a little bit more. I mean, I grew attached to you know him being the main voice character. Anyway, I'll put this guy to sleep. Well, knock them out actually. Don't even waste bullets. Don't even waste your tranquilizer around. When you watch my video, you really notice that I don't even shoot everybody with a tranquilizer. It's not always necessary. Just knock them out. Or choke them out. They'll stay down throughout the whole game. Or you just do your CQC and knock them out for a few minutes. They will get back up. I'm, I'm letting y'all know now. Well, at least in hard mode, they will get back up. That's why. But we're gonna get ourselves a free ride towards the gate. That's close to where Paz is located. It's part of the game to rescue Paz. I don't even like Paz. I mean, you know, when you find out in the Peace Walker that she was really a spy working for Cypher and. Who became major? Who was major zero in the other series? Storyline's a little crazy, but yeah, she really betrayed Big Boss. Well, not really betrayed them, but she showed her true colors and <laughs> had her own agenda. Anyway, let's go. Let's see, Paz, how she's doing. We getting there. Once we get to the gate, make sure that guy have his back turned. That's when they get off the truck. Ease on right through those doors. I yeah, you know, it's a walk through the park here. Yeah. I like to ID the camera. Let's choke this guy out over here. Well, matter of fact, I want to get some information first. Yeah. You can at least tell me where the other guards located. The map has been ease by the camera. I already know where the other two guards are located, but I made use of him anyway. Ease on down the stairs. Don't go too fast. Don't go too. Cause they will hear you. 
So mess up the flow of everything. Just ease right by them. And let's see how our friend Paz is doing. Let's get this cutscene. Got our friend Paz, and man, she look all fucked up. But don't worry, Big Boss came to save her ass. Pause the mission. We'll let these two talk. You hear that? You need to hurry up your escape before they realize Paz is missing. We're gonna put that one dude to sleep. Shoot him in the head. He's by that guy, don't even worry about him. He's not even a threat. Oh, by the cameras, then this one dude by the door I have to take out. Yeah, there we go. Shoot him twice, that should be enough. Well, I shot him three times, but anyway. Keep it moving. Pain. It's an I didn't really Pain. notice throughout the game. I'm not even wasting time trying to battle everybody, put every single soldier to sleep. You just ease by a lot of them. They can try to shoot down you gotta the be cautious over here because the soldiers see you beyond that gate sometimes. So I try to wait for the right moment. You know, once you get up to this point, you're pretty much good. Like, you don't really have anything to worry about. Try to ID that guy down there. There's two of them. Now I'll put this guy to sleep who's furthest back. He's all the way back there. I hit him first. Just two shots would do it. So by the time I get over there, he's already knocked out. Leave the other guy alone to like sneak up behind him. You'll see. You don't exactly have to waste bullets and shoot everybody. Have him lay on his stomach. That's what I do. He'll get down and you don't have to worry about him getting up for the whole game. He'll stay down. Unless everybody go in alert mode, then or his comrades see him on the floor and tell him to get up. Other than that, he'll stay there for the whole game. Get through the gate. Okay, here we go. I'll put pods down over here. Because this one dude, he kind of annoys me a little. So I find it necessary to... I want my shot to be like 100% accurate. If I have paws on my shoulder and I'm trying to aim, the accuracy is a little more lower. I'm about like 90% accurate. But anyway, make it easier for me. Put her down for a second and take that dude out. Cause I find him very annoying. Like he's necessary to put to sleep. And that's it. Pretty much good from here. Just call the chopper. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone confirmed. Stop it. Roger. Dispatching chopper. I don't know. It's a walk through the park. I'm pretty much good from right here. Nobody else going to see you. You don't have to worry too much. Unless you make yourself so obvious that like you run at full speed. Then you're going to catch some attention. <laughs> Other than that... <laughs> It's good. He's right on through. Let's head to that gate. Well, there's one more guy who's over there. That's a little annoying, but he's not even a threat. I'm just gonna tell him. I'm gonna put him down, have him lay on his stomach. Don't even have to waste bullets on this dude.
and all you have to do is carry pots to through the gate, and the chopper will be here. And that's how you get through. Where we get solid five ground zero. If you want the S rank in hard mode. Chaplain, pretty much here now. Yeah, but if you like what you see, please leave a comment or like my video, subscribe, whatever. And uh, I really appreciate it, guys. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to comment me or anything. I respond back to my fans. Other than that, enjoy your day.